Welcome back. Welcome back. So we're clearing the table, playing some English pool today. Um, so we look at the layout of the balls, not great on either. Um, I think yellows are probably the choice though, based on where this red is. Um, so this is particularly difficult to land on. Uh, I could play this red first if I do go reds, and then from there it's difficult to get on any one of the next five. So I think for that reason I'm kind of forced into going yellows. Um, I've got this as my first ball. That's likely going to leave me this one, possibly followed by this one to the middle. But I'm going to play this one first and see what angle I'm left with on this one. If the cue ball is roughly where the red is, um, that's the goal. But I'll make a decision based on that. So don't know the exact order yet, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so a bit closer to the cushion uh, on this red, yellow, which isn't a huge issue. Uh, it's just now landing on the next ball. So I've got a couple of choices. I could screw back from this to around here to play this into the middle, which then maybe leaves me in this position for this one to the corner. Um, or I can play topspin on this ball and maybe try and run into this red. I don't know if the angle allows for that actually probably could avoid that red actually land here and play this yellow into there so I think the top spin option is the one I'm going to go for I'm going to be hitting I think the right hand side of this red I would hope to be able to leave this yellow into this middle pocket though Cool. So now um, it's just a case of figuring out a pattern between these last few balls. So we've got this ball followed by this ball into the middle. So from this ball, screw back to here, play this ball. That leaves me in this position. I can then play this ball to the corner, screw back to here, play this ball to the corner to here, play this ball to the corner, and then from there, probably leave the cue ball here for the black. There is a couple of routes you could do with this, but I'm gonna go with that one because it's the first one I saw. Okay, so I want separation from the red here. I don't wanna just roll this in and leave the cue ball here because I'll have a really difficult shot on that yellow. So I'm playing this with top right hand side to move that red and leave the cue ball where the red is roughly. But I don't want that red affecting my next shot. Which it is, <laughs> as you can see, directly affecting my shot. So it's not as bad as if I was right against it, but it's still hampered. So it just makes these types of shot harder. Same kind of thing though, just trying to screw back for this one for the, uh, for the left corner. Okay, and then from there just topspin through, I can now kind of pick the angle I'm going to leave on the black. If I land here I should be able to play the black into that middle actually, or this corner. Um, so I'm just going to topspin forward slightly on this one. Okay, and that angle, again the same situation as the shot I had two shots ago. If I just screw this in and leave the cue ball here, the black should be easy enough to this corner, but that red, it can just get in the way. So I'm just choosing whether I want to do that. Yeah, I think I can get enough separation from the red that the hampered shot is not going to be too much of an issue. If Basically, if I'd left the cue ball there, you can see that would be quite a difficult shot on the black. So that's what I meant by by that. So a very, very similar shot to what I had a second ago. Just queuing over these reds, just need to make sure of it. Cool. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you on the next one.